Hello, I'm Diamond Minx, a burlesque performer. Welcome to my first unboxing video. <laughs> Anyone who knows me is probably aware of the fact that I am a massive Mae West fan. And uh, a couple of months ago, I got a message from Dustin Wax at the Burlesque Hall of Fame entitled, Relevant to Your Interests that included a link to a, uh, an auction website where Mae West's personal assistant was selling his collection of items that had belonged to her. Now, considering she passed away in the 1980s, um, items from her personal belongings are few and far between to come up for auction or on eBay, that sort of thing. I do have an evening bag with pretty good provenance that uh, belonged to her, but to be able to purchase an item that came from the collection of someone who got them directly from her, the provenance is fantastic. There's a photograph of her carrying many of the items in the auction. Um, so that's all really quite wonderful. Anyway, um, so the auction happened on November 1st and I had gone through the catalog very carefully and uh, picked about five or six items that I was willing to bid on that were, you know, in, at the lower end of the auction estimate price-wise and, and uh, that I would have loved to include in my collection. Uh, auction day rolls around and the items keep going for well above what I was comfortable spending. And uh, so, you know, the shoes that I wanted went by and the prop mirror that she's carrying in my favorite picture of her went by for like a lot of money. And it finally came to this hat that I really loved and was willing to push my budget a little bit for. It's a hat that she wore on the Red Skelton show in the 1960s. It is a very typical um, Diamond Lil style hat. It's red with ostrich feathers and an ostrich boa hanging down the back. And she wore it with, wore it with a uh, red sequined evening gown and big feather boa. Very typical Mae West. Um, and so I bid on it. And it ended up going for less than the auction estimate minimum, so, and, and I got it. And I don't think my heart has pounded in quite such a, so, so much in a long time as it did in that moment. Anyway, it has arrived, so um, I am going to unbox it and show everybody what it looks like. So stay tuned. Okay, there is the box. I've emptied out a whole bunch of the packing peanuts it was packed in. Let's see, here we go. And it is obviously very carefully and thoroughly packaged by the auction company. Okay, get the first layer out of the box. Hopefully without dropping too many packing peanuts all over my floor. Or not. <laughs> okay. First layer opened. for not talking while I'm opening this. I'm very, very excited. Oh, upside down. Let's turn this over. My studio floor is now absolutely covered in packing peanuts. Okay, we have hit Large quantities of bubble wrap. So I will be cutting into the bubble wrap now. All right. 
actually cutting into the tape that's holding the, bu the bubble wrap together because I don't want to risk any possibility of damaging this hat. not scrimped at all on the quality of the packing. <laughs> and I'm not terribly surprised. This is a an auction house from Beverly Hills that I uh, got this from. when we moved last year that packing tape actually peels off of bubble wrap reasonably easily. Which makes life a lot easier when you're unpacking. Oh, okay. We're below the bubble wrap. And we have hit many, many layers of acid-free tissue paper and more plastic. Nope. And there is a package that says documents enclosed. That's interesting. The hat came with a photograph of her wearing the hat, and, um, a promotional photo for the So that is some pretty amazing provenance, just to have, have a picture of her actually wearing it. This is not the uh, thin, awful little dollar store packing paper either, their packing tape is thick, thick and strong. Okay. See what's in the documents package. Oh, and they sealed it. There we go. There's a photograph of her and Red Skelton. Promotional photo from the TV show that she wore this hat on. to figure out which is the top and which is the bottom. Since we're at paper, I'm just going to manually tear the tape now. It's all just looks like acid-free masking tape that we've taped everything. Okay, so here's this incredible hat. Look at those feathers. Oh, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, interestingly, this hat was described as a satin hat, and it is, I suppose, but it's underneath a couple layers of tulle, which is really interesting. Um, it is absolutely 
luxuriously covered in layered ostrich plumes. There's like, they're at least two layers thick and they're all curled, which is just gorgeous. And then there's a length of ostrich, curled ostrich boa that comes off the bottom. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hold it up and maybe stick it on my head. See what that looks like. I'm hoping to have a, a picture taken in it in the next couple of weeks, which will be really exciting. So yeah, give me a second here. Okay, here we go. My arm's not quite long enough <laughs> to get the entire hat in the shot in selfie mode, but there it is. Isn't that incredible? I am so excited to have this. It's going to end up framed in a shadow box and hanging on my wall, and I'm just so thrilled to have such an iconic garment from Mae West. This is amazing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye!